I talk to the stack on the table. How we gon' double us seeing my money? We talking. Ain't finna fumble the badge. I'm taking shit in my hands on you. Better not drop it. Cause I'm not fucking with me, but it's my fault. Fuck it, I ain't gon' ball. Hog. I shut a rock, playmaker like I'm down wall. Yo, what's up guys, it's Young Jody. Today I'm going to be showing you the last mixing tutorial that you're ever going to need. If you're going for that mainstream sound, this tutorial is literally going to be perfect for you. You don't have to even have the plugins that I'm going to be using in this tutorial. But obviously you can get any plugin on the internet with your own ways, if you know what I'm saying. But I basically perfected this project file that I use as a template. I use it for every single one of my vocal mixes. It saves me tons of time. So if you're trying to check it out, there's going to be a link to it down below in the description. But yeah, it's just broken up into a couple different sections. So on the far left, you got the verse, then you got the hook, then you got the background vocals and the ad libs, and then you have all the effects. Now the effects ranges from chorus, flanger, air, doubler, multiple reverbs, multiple delays. I'm telling you, this template is completely loaded. So what you're going to need is basically the main waves plugins. So if you can get some sort of total bundle, get that. But it's basically R compressor, R vox. I don't use H delay. I use, I think, R reverb. We got noise suppression, de-esser. So those plugins, you need the sound toys total bundle, the hollow vintage verb, and I'd recommend getting fab filter EQ, but you don't need that. But yeah, that's everything you need to run the project file. But like I said at the beginning of the video, if you want to do this on your own, you don't even need that. All that you need if you want to do it on your own is an EQ compressor. You can even use Maximus as a de-esser. You got fruity reverb and delay. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You can really mix these vocals with default FL Studio plugins. But yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the mix. So we got our first project file here. Beat was produced by Young Jody. So I'm going to first explain my preset for you. So when I pull this up, these are all empty. And the rest of the channels have an auto-tune that's turned off and a noise suppression set to zero. So what I do is I send my vocal to channel 24, which is the hook. Or if I'm recording the verse, the verse is usually just for another feature. But if I'm doing another feature, I'll put them in here one of these channels and then as you can see all of these lead to the hook and all of these lead to the verse and this is where i do my main mix so as you can see i do actually have two rappers on the song so they both got separate mixes but this mix is literally just for cleaning up the vocal so these are the vocals raw damn little mama fine her face on tension she don't need no bbl and this is with it just with the channel 25 effects damn little mama fine her face on tension she don't need no bbl all right so one thing i want to get out of the way is when you're mixing you want to always play the beat and everything all together if i were to solo this vocal and mix it it would have sounded completely different in the end now usually this difference is for the worse normally your ears you would hear unpleasant sounding frequencies and cut them out but with everything all together it may sound more natural just leaving this stuff more in so the first thing i throw on is neq these are the settings that i got but it's literally just high frequencies high mid frequencies low mid frequencies and low frequencies hello mama fine her face on 10 she don't need no bbl and I ain't gonna play too much last time I play too much I fail and she got no friends no circle she can't go for squares I just boost these frequencies that sounded good I usually do around the same frequencies for all of my mixes obviously everybody's voice is different so I don't do the same exact frequencies I didn't touch anything on the dynamic side so you don't have to worry about that this knob here wasn't touched and this knob here wasn't touched next thing is a Q10 usually I'll do more of these type of cuts try to find a bunch of resonances but for this one the EQ sounded much better just going for general ranges and boosting them a face on she don't need no BB. It's super boxy, you know. No mama fine, her face on tension, she don't need no Whereas these really just help bring the voice through the mix. Like I said before, as I'm mixing everything, I'm I'm hearing it with the B playing. So if I were to play it right now, it's gonna be super quiet, but when I was playing it, I had the volume boosted up. Yeah, no mama fine, her face on tension, she don't need no BBL. And I ain't gonna play too much last time I played too much, I fell. If you don't got waves plugins, use anything similar to this. Even this I wouldn't EQ, I'm just gonna pull up a fruity EQ. So like this frequency right here, let's see what is it, 2000 hertz. Like all you gotta do is just boost that and you got that curve right there. Boost it up three decibels, pull it down, and you can do that for all of these. Here, look, these are the frequencies for all these. So yeah, you don't necessarily need the plugins that I'm showing you in this video, but it probably will help you. Next thing we got is a simple de -esser. It may look complicated to you, but I just pulled this all the way up the frequency. And I just played it and listened for the S's and seen where it spiked. Tell them I'm a so it's usually chilling right below here so i just put it right above where it's chilling and whenever it spikes it's gonna get clipped super subtle change this guy recorded at a pretty good studio so it wasn't really that bad but that's gonna be for most of the effects you really just want to turn things on just to the point where you can hear it I constantly hear mixes where the sounds are just way too much and the effects. Anyways, next thing we got is an Arvox. I throw two compressors, so this is the first one that I put on. Too much last time I play too much I fail. 
as you can see just a simple not very heavy compression i don't pull this all the way down i just kind of put it up a little bit and then i just pull this down to an amount that i liked literally everything is just go off of sound so that's what i did here i usually just don't pull my gate all the way down i usually bring it up just a little bit and then this compression i just pulled it down until i liked it and then i pulled the gain down a little bit just to keep the volume leveled all right the next thing we got is a vitamin now for the rest of these plugins i wouldn't say these are necessary if you got them it's going to make it sound much smoother but as long as you're EQing it and compressing it correctly, you should get the same sound. I'm just boosting some of the highs and the high mid frequencies. Oh, and some of the mid frequencies. Just a little before and after. Makes it smoother. Nice thing I put on a C4. You're going to be able to see, but it's just dynamically EQing the whole entire vocal. This is more like a multiband compressor. I've never actually used the FL Studio one, but you could probably actually do this with default FL Studio plugins. Uh, yeah, but I usually don't touch any of the thresholds for the upper frequencies. I only do it for the low frequency because you're going to see it's hitting very low. Usually just get it so it's hitting on there. And then I pull these down. Usually around the same numbers every time. I just tweak the sound. Next thing we got is a default stereo imager. Really doesn't change the sound much at all. And then I got MV2. I turn this one up higher than I normally do. I usually put this down like here. But it's just super subtle. So after that, this is what the vocal sounds like. And this is what all the effects that I send it to afterwards. So like I said before, my vocal mix is a two-part process. This part, we really just cleaned up the vocal. And now we're going to be putting all the delay, reverb, and all that other stuff on there. So yeah, if you guys peep that preset down below in the description, you're going to be able to see this. Now, this makes it super easy to mix all of my vocals. I never have to dig for effects or anything like that. I got it all right here. Literally got five different types of reverb right here. Six different delays. We got the demon voice. When the right's too skinny. I walk in the bit with my gun now. This is the one that Juice World used to use, and this one's more like an underground type of one. So I didn't put the exciter on on this one, so I'm not really going to break that one down, but I did put the chorus on. Now this is just widening the vocal just a little bit, but chorus changes the sound signature a bit. Now when I do all of these, I usually turn it up too high and then bring it down to where I like it. So that's where it sounds good for me. Like I was saying before, you want everything to be subtle. A good rule of thumb is if you can just barely hear it, it's probably in a good spot. But yeah, same thing with the flanger. You can't really hear that too much. Then we got air. So this is that like Drake sound. It really adds that like high end to the voice. You're going to hear it before and after. And this here is the sauce, man. Like that right there is the mainstream sauce, bro. It's literally just this right here, and then I put it on a send. So normally I would never put my settings this high, but just because I'm sending it here and putting it on 45%, I think it's cool. Then we got all my reverbs. I just blend five different reverbs together. It sounds pretty cool. Then I put on a doubler. I'm telling you, everything is really just subtle from here. Delay. And then I got the guitar amp and the MV2. Now these bolt together are some sauce. So that's pretty much it for the lead vocal. I did the same thing over here with the verse. We got my guy Crash on here. All right, bet. So now let's get to the ad libs and the strong points. So for my ad libs and my strong points, I got these like spread channels here. These sound really good. They're like super stereo. But you can see I got all of these strong points. They're on that channel. So let's play that right now. Last time I played too much, I fell. And she got no friends, no circle. She can't go for squares. Like, she just another dime. I'm filling up my wishing well. So this is his before and after. I'm filling up my wishing well. I'm filling up my wishing well. So yeah, it's the same thing. I honestly just copied the mix from over here and I just paste it right here. So it's the same EQ, de compression, vitamin, C4, imager, and the MV2. And then I just send them to these over here. So I do less effects because this is like more of in the background. It's not as important. You know, it doesn't have to stick out as much. But yeah, honestly, like 
even for the ad libs and the strong points it's the same thing you know this channel already is set up for me it's just got a noise suppression compressor reverb that i turned off and a doubler which is just giving it that stereo effect but honestly you could just do your own doubler in the pre-comp effects and just do a stereo delay like that but turn the effects off is what that sounds like i'm feeling all my wishing well as compared to this i'm feeling all my wishing well man it's really some simple stuff bro everybody overcomplicates it it's crazy all right let's get to the actual ad libs so so for the ad libs i actually sent them to these radio effects this is literally like the spread channel that i just broke down with the doubler on it but with two telephone eqs on it and these are both set to 50 percent now this was just through trial and error but i found this to sound the best for my mixes i use these on everybody's vocals another thing i didn't actually demonstrate in this mix that i also got in there is this left and right double if you do two sets of strong points this actually sounds really freaking good but yeah after that like it leads to these channels here which just do a little bit of compression i usually don't tweak these and they honestly hit the same levels every time so it's, it's pretty much set up to go you know what i'm saying same with all of these green channels this one doesn't get used but this one does this one works perfect every single time you know i know where the numbers should be hitting every time but like i've done hundreds of mixes and i've never had to adjust any of these numbers it's crazy then the effects just go to this channel that just cuts some high and low frequencies. We got the two track channel here. For this song, I was just taking out some of my hi-hats because your boy made the hi-hats too loud. What can I say? Tape stop, classic. If you don't have D Blue Tape Stop, get this right now. It's free. Just look up D Blue Tape Stop. You're good to go. A filter, if I ever want to use it, I just automate this knob right here. And all of this just leads to the master. Now, if you ever see my sample tutorials, it's the same master that I use. For this song, I had to bring it all the way down to make sure that this wasn't clipping in here. After that, I just compressed it. Last time I played too much, I fell. She got no friends, no circle. She can't go for squares. Then we just got an imager and exciter. This doesn't change too much to the sound. And then a maximus. Then of course a soft clipper, because if you're using a limiter, you're crazy. And then it just roots to the master, and there's nothing except an auto key on the master, and it's turned off right now. But yeah, I mean that's pretty much it for the the chain. I, I explained the whole project file. I got another project that I want to open up. This song was pretty hard. But yeah, this was with my guy Don and Antoine. You can check everyone rapping down below in the description. I'll leave their Instagrams. But yeah, here it is. All right, this file is more of a mess. But you can still tell like these are the main takes, and you know obviously these are the ad libs. Back. I or actually i think these are all the strong points and everything else that lives so i got an acapella from my boy don and i threw my beat on it but i wanted to get my boy antoine on something fire for real so i had this song and i was like dude just throw a verse on it hey i talked to the stack on the table how we gonna double us seeing my money we talking ain't for the fumble the bad try take a shit in my hands on you better not drop it because i'm from the chip and bounce back if you're ready and not got me crazy you thinking they locked in foot on the gas and i ain't letting go so you better build up because i ain't finna stop shit damn this mix is hard as hell so this one was different i actually recorded this one at my house we use this mic right here this is a ath m50 or no those are my headphones so this is an at2035 this mic is like i think it's like 150 bucks i got it discounted i'm pretty sure i paid like 100 bucks for it solid mic this is running into a motu m2 best interface for the price range that is the mic setup that we use for this one. We did not record into a booth, nothing like that. We just recorded straight into this room that you're hearing right now. So my mic actually has noise suppression on it right now for the YouTube video, but on the song, we just use this instead. It basically sounds the same as it right now. And I have a fan running in my room on full blast. So let's just take everything off the vocal real quick. All right, this is the vocals raw. Ain't from the fumble the badge, I take a shit in my hands on, you better not drop it, cause I'm from the chip and bounce back. If you're ready and not, got me crazy, you thinking they locked in. So that's raw. Back on the table, how we gonna double us in my money, we talking. So it already sounds pretty solid. So we just ran that into channel 25, put the noise suppression on, and I threw an EQ on. I talked to the stack. Let's take the effects off here and mute all of these. I talked to the stack on the table. How we gonna double us in my money? We talking. Ain't for the fun with a badge. I take. All right, that makes sense. I talked to the. So I'm just taking out this terrible frequency. I talked to the stack. On and really just trying to make it punch through. I talked to the stack on the table. How we. Yeah, that sounds really good. No suppression. I'm just gonna demonstrate what this sounds like. I talked to the stack on the table. How we gonna double us in my money? We talk. It's like if you could apply cotton to the vocal, it just like fogs it up. I don't know. Same thing as before, literally the same chain. I threw on a vocal preset and probably tweaked it around a little bit. This is probably because it was sounding too boxy or bassy. Same de as before, same compression, same vitamin. Now, this is what it sounds like with everything on it. Back on the table, how we gonna double us in my money? We talking, ain't for the fumble the badge. I take a shit in my hands on, you better not drop it, cause I'm back on the table. How we gonna double us in my money? We talking. 
Damn, that actually sounds really different. Let me break this down a little bit more for you guys. Let's see where it really starts to sound different. Back on the table, how we gonna double us seeing my money we talking? Ain't finna fumble the badge, I take a shit near my hands, so you better not drop it, cause I- this is really helping right here, taking these frequencies out. Honestly, really, the 600 to 800 hertz range is a good one to like really go for off rip. Back on the table, how we gonna double us in my dude, this is sounding terrible like a telephone. See, I really just cleaned the hell up out of the vocal. This is probably helping me a ton too. Back on the table, how we gonna double us in my money with Yeah, look at that. That's cleaning that up. Yeah, man, no rules to it. I literally just threw a freaking preset on here, just straight up in the middle of the mix. But I mean, as you can see, that shit is hitting. Compression too, I'm not gonna lie. For this mix, I noticed this shit is snapping. Back on the table, how we gonna double us in my money we talking? Ain't finna fumble the badge, I take a shit near my hands on, you better not- We got a little bit of a harder compression applied on this one. It sounded really nice though, super smooth. Back on the table, how we gonna double- same with this. This one's hitting a little bit harder than I think the last song. Back on the table. How we gonna double us in my money we talking? Ain't finna fumble the badge. I yeah, that's really bringing out some air. And then you know this same as usual. Back on the table. How we gonna double us in my money we talking? That's all sounding pretty good. Now for the effects, this guy doesn't like reverb too much. Same with the delay. So I kind of did a little bit, but for this song, I, I wanted to really like push the boundary. So for this one, we did the exciter, the chorus, the flanger, the air, all the reverbs, a few delays, and the MV2 and guitar amp that I was showing you before. Look into this if you can. This stuff is the sauce. If you got this, copy these presets, man. All right, let's get to the strong points. So these have the same exact mix that I just showed you for the lead vocal. It saves me so much time. I'm not going to remix the same person's vocals, especially when they're doing strong points. Okay, so actually this version of the mix was before I updated my template. So this is moved. It's actually supposed to be like over here near the ad lib section. But for this song, it's right over here. So like I said before, we got the strong points on the hook spread. My arrangement for this one is so weird, but it has the same vocal presets on it. And then I just put these effects on it. So this is Exciter, Chorus, Reverb. Yeah, so you can hear the reverb. There's a lot of delay on there. You can hear that. You know, the other stuff is really not too much, too important. Just make sure it's got a lot of reverb and delay. Bitch, I'm on go and I'm moving too fast. Mike caught me a 3-5. I'm telling you, all the rest of the stuff is just ear candy. So yeah, the strong points just got a ton of reverb, delay. They're running through the same mix as the hook, like the lead vocal of this one here. Now let me see what's up with the ad libs. Okay, so the ad libs are actually where they're supposed to be. They got the same mix as the hook. So everything here has the same exact mix. It's just different effects. I usually like to change up where everything gets sent to through the effects over here. This is all like the delay and the reverb. Okay, for this song, we actually put auto-tune on the ad libs. This was cool. We were messing around with it and it sounded really good, but just on the ad libs. So as you can see, and as you can hear, his voice has a ton of reverb and delay put on. Another thing that you can notice that I did is I panned these around. I think we did two takes to ad libs. I just put one to the left, one to the right more. That was really good, panning all around. Goals, they never reach mine. They ain't even reaching me. I said, fuck all the manners and teachers. Ain't nothing they teach me. Yeah, that sounds crazy. As for the automations, I was just turning up the delay. You can do that if you just want to, like say I wanted to turn up this reverb just for one section i could just right click on this put an automation clip and let's see it would just be for the background vocals and i can do that but yeah i mean that's pretty much it you know just a lead vocal ad lib strong points clean up the vocal and then put the effects on after that it all gets sent to the same master chain literally same thing as before bring it all the way down so it doesn't clip this compression goes they never reach mine they ain't even reaching me hidden right at the four i turned the ozone off for the demonstration just because it makes it crackle a lot but when I exported it, it's on. And then bring back up the volume. And then Soft Clipper. Soft Clipper is live, man. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys did learn something new. If you did, definitely leave a like and comment down below. Also, follow me on Instagram. I've been pushing it pretty hard. Thank you guys so much for 3,000 followers. That's actually crazy. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next I talk video. to the stack on the table. How we going to double us in my money? We talking. Ain't finna fumble the badge. I take a shit in my hands on. You better not drop it. Because I'm finna chip and bounce back. If you ready or not, got me crazy. You thinking they locked in. Foot on the gas and I ain't letting go. So you better build up. Because I ain't finna stop shit.